Sarah from Average Betty here and I'm making jalapeno popper dip. Disclaimer, if you make this jalapeno popper dip, you may eat more of it than any one human should and I will not be held responsible for that. Let's make jalapeno popper dip. I've got what else? A jalapeno. Most of the heat from a jalapeno comes from the seeds and the membrane. The more you remove, the less spicy your dip will be. Leaving in about this much, you're looking at about two alarm, I'd say. You want them chopped up pretty fine. Be sure you don't touch your eyes or other sensitive areas after handling these suckers. Okay, here's a big bowl and here's that fresh diced jalapeno. This is cream cheese, cream shaboogie bop. Gotta use your big burly arm for this. Here's some lime juice and some lime zest. Zesty. In addition to the disclaimer that goes along with this is a full confession. I just had this at a birthday party. My friend Liz brought it and after one taste, I thought this is dangerous. Dangerous, I tell you. I've got some fire roasted green chilies and these are fire roasted jalapenos. Fire in the hole! Again, get this good and combined. It's not much to look at, I know. Here's some shredded Pecorino Romano, and this is some extra sharp cheddar. Keep pushing my love. Hold your horses there, fella. This is mayonnaise, the good stuff. I told you you don't want to be left alone with this stuff. All right, this looks about good. I'm gonna set this aside for just a moment. Here's another bowl. These are panko breadcrumbs, and this is a little olive oil. Get that mixed together. And you're not going to believe this, but here's some more Pecorino Romano and some more sharp cheddar. Believe that? And if you must have bacon, stir some bacon bits in here too. This is going to be the crunchy topper on the dip. And let's just set this aside a second. Here's a baking dish. Stop playing with my heart. Finish what you start when you make my love come down. If you want me, let me know. Baby, let it show. Honey, don't you fool around. Pop this into your preheated oven, and when it's done, it'll look like this. I'm not exactly sure what this dip has done to me. Serve with crackers or tortilla chips to, you know, like a dozen of your favorite people. Get the jalapeno popper dip recipe at averagebetty.com. So next time you want a spicy, irresistible, crowd-pleasing appetizer, I hope you'll give this jalapeno popper dip a try. Just be sure to have plenty of friends on hand so you don't do anything you might regret. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time. Mmm, get away from my dip.